Hey, welcome back to Agurin Skies, and what I've got is a mob spawner. I've tried decorating it uh, in my way, it's not that good. And also, I do need some uh, ghast here, so what I've done is just put these guys here and spawn a ton of ghast. Is it working? No, I've got to set it to up to the back. So, yep, it is spawning ghast, and I'm looting on my sword, so it will be easy. Uh, it will be getting kind of messy around here, so uh, please bear with me for a moment while I collect some gas tears. Gotta turn on my magnet though. Whoa, shit. Oh, Christ. That is. It may it's a mayhem out here. <laughs> it's a mayhem out here. I can't control this. I don't know why. I. Th let's just hope that it runs out of mob juice so uh, I don't have a problem. Gotta take out my bow though. My trusty bow. Uh, where is it? Okay. Come on. Gotta take out this. Guys. Uh, luckily, they don't do any damage to my structures, so yep, that's not a problem. But I don't know why my arrows aren't hitting them. It should be. It just went through those guys. Ah, uh, that that's weird. That is weird. Okay. Oh, they actually take out stuff now. Ah, what the hell? What the fuck? Okay, so yeah, apparently it ran out of juice. So. Just take those, let me just take those, those guys down. Hopefully I do have enough juice in my jetpack to accomplish what, I, what I've made. It's a, it's a mayhem up here, I don't know why. The fuck am I doing this? I'm regretting my decision to do this. It, it was alright just now. I did this a couple times. Arrows aren't hitting them. Ah, oh, this sucks. Okay, gotta fly back, gotta clear up this mess, and I'll be right back. You know what, real talk here, I should probably shouldn't do that. I was doing it in a way more uh, fashion way, uh, more safe and fashion way. I can't spawn ghast inside here, so that's a problem. Also, it, it took apart like for most of my base. I don't even know how it looked before. It just looks kind of weird though. I mean, now that I'm here, I'm probably missing something. I probably built something wrong. That's why it looks kind of weird. So. In all seriousness, let's get back to automating those uh, hamburgers which I've got in my inventory. So, what is required to make a hamburger is the oh hamburger. Okay, you need firm tofu along with toast. We've got toast. We've got the skillet. Now we just gotta automate firm tofu, and yeah, uh, hopefully stuff didn't get destroyed here. It doesn't seem like it. So, so we've got the ME interface and uh, we need to import into our system probably down below I've got some stuff set up so yeah import into oh okay that's not the correct spot to get it done so basic import burst shift right click and ME cables got it done now and yeah it's kinda cool to have the hover feature for the jetpack so everything should be done gotta set these guys to go into the presser and now we've got to set up the uh oh we do have some place not lit up probably done by those ghasts so we've got to set the recipe thing so uh i believe uh we need the soya bean and have we got any tofu inside nope we don't have any so we do have the silk oh we don't have anything uh, let me just get some stuff done. Uh, just get this guys pressed, and see, and then we can use the products to set up our pattern thing. Whoa, it, it gets imported right away, so that's that's a problem. Yep, it gets imported right away, so it should be in our system now. Soya bean milk. Oh, we do have some. Uh, silken tofu. Okay, we got three inside. So, what we can do is, cause we can't specify uh two, two outputs. So why not just do this uh and code one and then and code two. So how how this is going to work is, once we run out of one of the uh, either one of these, it's gonna process uh the soya beans and it's gonna make up for the other side. So when the other side gets uh so there should be some uh in reserve for the other side. So don't worry, uh, this thing should work out fine uh, if you guys get what I mean but I don't think you get what I mean so whatever so you, I'm, I'm just gonna have to test it, test this out so 
uh, what we can do next is uh, get silken tofu and press it into firm tofu this is a double process so we can get this going and check inside our A system for firm tofu uh, if I spell it right firm tofu oh that there it is uh, now we've got that we can do silken tofu goes to firm tofu I'm kinda sick I don't know whether you've noted noticed this I think <coughs> so firm tofu goes the pattern goes in there and it should work out just fine and now we have to encode the hamburger part of things uh, hamburger uh, we got to find the thing so we can just shift right click back in firm tofu toast skillet and code that's done now we just have to put this inside our ME system and yeah we can export hamburgers now I believe so that's we need six we need half a stack we definitely need half a stack it's uh, the standard procedure if I can get this to go half a stack I don't know why this is so weird uh, you know 31 should do and also in this episode I think I can do something really cool here which I've got this is my setup uh, before the gas blown uh, blew all the stuff away and I need to tilt this dirt it's a setup to uh, how do you say uh, to mass produce anything I choose so uh, whatever thing that I want to mass produce just for now will be uh, from this chest I can just dump the seeds into this place and it will just use the bone meal for stuff I, I, I ju I've just been manually putting the bone meal in for now so I've got rice I've got spice leaf I've got cook I've got coconut I've got bell pepper I think you know what I'm gonna make yes I'm gonna make curry rice uh, it seems to be a nourishing large meal so I It'll be kind of cool to see how it works. Uh, we need coconut milk, which is juicer and coconut, so it won't be a problem. Uh, and it's the same thing. You need rice seeds. There's rice seeds. Uh, I gotta show you this. There's rice seeds, and yeah, that's what I've done. And there's coconut. There's coconut saplings, I believe. Uh, if I can spell it right, co, coco. Coconut saplings, I've planted one on this side if you haven't noticed already and this is the coconut when you harvest it Oh, that's cool And you can also bone meal them for extra coconut if you want so And bell pepper, they are basically the they're basically crops, I believe Okay, so bell pepper Bell pepper seed, you just put it there and it's like crops so That's how it works and I believe if I grab spice leaf, coconut, bell pepper, rice and we need the mixing bowl and salt we've got salt, we've got salt for days uh, and also got to dump some of the useless stuff inside soy milk, no need soy milk now silken tofu, don't need those we need a juicer, I do have it somewhere lying around I don't have the juicer in my A system yep, it should be there uh, let me just make like 10 uh, 10 sets of the curry rice curry rice some Japanese shit so gotta put the juicer inside and I think I can just go to a random crafting table to make curry rice okay uh, we got to put stuff in the correct way so bell pepper wait so this on top bell pepper below salt here we don't have the frying pan we don't have the saucepan uh, that's that's a pity uh, we got to grab it we gotta grab it some other time coconut milk we need the frying pan do I have the frying pan or the saucepan yep I do have the saucepan so gotta make myself some curry rice and see how it works so we've got 10 of those we've got 10 glass bottles left over from the coconut milk so that's alright I guess coconut wait curry rice l nourishing large meal ah oh, that's cool so in all seriousness let's go back to this uh, you see do you guys see what I have inside? We've got books, we've got Inva armor. Do you know how I'm getting those stuff? Whatever I'm gonna show you now is the hellfish that I've got uh in that I've got spawning uh in the mob spawner. So let me just show you guys this. I think I have to put this down just a tad bit lower so it doesn't spawn the hellfish uh on the thing. Wait, just let me get to the fluid ducks. Okay, that's great. Uh, mob spawner here. Okay, so I've got I've set the grinder up to actually recycle those mob essence back inside to this tesseract, so it won't be too much of a waste. Uh, I would presume. And yes, I just got to put the 
Hellfish, Safari Net in, and I've got to kickstart this guys with some mob essence, and it should be working now. So let's see how this works. Uh, so the grinder's gonna kill stuff, and we are getting books, armor, everything. It is crazy, man. It is so efficient. It is so overpowered. I can't explain. Can't tell you more. It gives us blaze rods too. That's that's amazing, I guess. Uh, we've got armor for days. We've got ender pearls. We've got silver nuggets, and the list it's uh, fermented spider eye. Uh, this this is just random crap. I don't know why they do give those stuff. So I can actually just turn this on and get stuff for days, man. All those gains. Oh my god. We've got some cool swords up here. We've got co some cool swords all up in this piece, and. As long as we keep those guys contained, it shouldn't be a problem. I don't believe they are able to get into the uh, stone bricks. They only get inside cobblestone and other stuff. So, uh, let me just stop this right here. It's getting real ridiculous. Uh, and yes, it's really it's going kind of fast. It's overwhelming the grinder too. And this thing, this chest might fill up in like, in like a few moments soon. It is crazy, man. I'm getting blaze rods. That is an important resource, I believe. And yes, this is way overpowered than it should be. And uh, it's something for you guys. It's an eye, it's an eye opener, guys. It's fuck. It's an eye opener for you. And yeah, I'll make a cut here, and we will resume the openers of this kind of crap. Wow, this guy sure fill up quick. I'm dropping frames. Uh, these guys are getting endlessly recycled to get more stuff. So let me just uh put the put another chest here and see. Because uh, because the grinders are actually pro producing enough mob juice to go back in to be recycled back inside, so it is actually keeping itself kind of full. But it does have a net loss. Whoa, these guys are actually attacking me through the, the glass walls or something. This is really cool. It's gonna fill up right quick. Uh, and I shall resolve this madness. And yeah, I'll be right back. Hey, another quick update uh, in the system, in the weird and screwed up system. Uh, you can actually hear these guys synchronizing with the eh, eh, and then the items flowing in. Okay, so it's the grinders doing their work, and yeah. Another chest that, have, that they have quickly filled up, and we, I shall replace those guys with not fluid ducks, but another chest. This guy has been around for at least a couple minutes now. That is really shitty. I've got to find a way to clear this guy really fast. And I'll be right back. Oh, uh, this is finally done. It takes so less mob essence to spawn. It is just really efficient and crazy, you know. <laughs> if these guys can actually give you tons of stuff, I've got to I've got to say there's there's way much way more stuff than I should have. I've actually rearranged some of those stuff. These guys are not enchanted books. They are just books with... They are just uh, renamed... No, they, they are just some weird stuff. I don't know how they get this stuff. But this is actually not enchanted books. So uh, I can't actually mix up with the other filing cabinet that, I have, that I've had right by the enchantment area. And also, I'm trying to dump all this inside. I don't know what are uh, these... Uh, fall, res fall resistance. I, th I know they are called feather falling, but I don't know why it's called fall resistance and sharpness. These guys are really weird. So fo what? What is focus punch? What is uh poison ivy? What is focus punch? Anyway, I've got to do some research and yeah, I'll be right back. Hmm. I'm thinking whether I could void all the random junk that I get from the hellfish and start farming those and the pearls and blaze rods. It might be a good idea though, I'm just thinking about how I could go about doing this and yeah, maybe I shall set this up for a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, this time it actually worked, I gotta capture this small guy now. Oh, it's so cute, I'm gonna capture you. And what we can do is actually put this in and let's see whether we can spawn the pink slime now. Gotta fill those gaps up so that it goes to our grinder. Okay, oh, this one gave a bigger one, so that's cool. Uh, let's see our grinder do its work. Come on. Our grinder is it work? Oh, I've got to turn the lever off, and it should be going down the idle timer. 
and we do have a bit of mob essence left inside okay it's taking out those slimes we are getting pink slime balls this is awesome actually we don't have to create a pig farm to get all those pig slime buckets we can actually just do this this is a much better way much more efficient way and yeah that's cool I've got to make a cut now and uh, which will then segue into our next topic which is Hey, pardon me for the weather and I'm going to craft myself the angry doll and also got to get myself the uh, lava so I can spawn some blazers and capture it with my safari net that's what I've got planned for the mob spawner room that's what I'm going to do instead of the hellfish stuff I'm just going to do this now so put the lava in on a stone barrel it doesn't work on a wooden barrel as far as I'm concerned and as far as you're concerned I don't have to kill the blaze when it spawns and just got to wait for it it takes a while so don't worry I shall eat myself some hamburger I've got to also automate some cheese seems that I can get myself the cheeseburger it won't be a problem if the blaze is spawned right in front of me I can actually use the soya milk to craft myself the cheese yep there it is and I can actually do this after I'm done capturing the blaze Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to be si sitting here waiting for the blaze to spawn. Hopefully, it does spawn sometime soon. I don't believe the rain is affecting stuff, so don't worry. The rain isn't going to oh uh, cause this guy not to spawn. I'm gonna capture him now. Uh, I just got I've just got to do things the right way, and also just got to put this in. Uh, got to take the hellfish out, put the blaze in. I've got another barrel full full of uh, mob essence so don't worry I have plenty of those stuff to go around also we need energy do we, do we need energy what are we missing we are missing mob essence uh, oh yeah gotta pump these guys in and blaze done so everything is just going to do everything they are just gonna flow towards the grinder and we're gonna get uh, blaze rod so don't worry uh, blaze rods are settled I don't know what use we have for blaze rods so let's just check this up Hopefully we're not doing this for nothing. And uses for blaze rods, we can create lava crystals, blaze rails, activator rails, all sorts of stuff. And we'll be right back. Hey, before the end of this episode, why not just get started with uh for the hoarding? I've got to do this uh, laser drill, P charges, and laser drill. So uh let me just get it searched up I shall do the crafting off camera but I've got to show you uh, what we need we do need pink slime balls glowstone illuminators should be easy hardened glass silver nuggets uh, the other one is just two glowstone illuminators in place of the stuff and some diamonds don't worry I'll get this done uh, off camera and I'll be right back with those things hey quick update so what you need to do is dump glowstone one piece of glowstone in for each illuminator frames what I think we need like three illuminator frames so why not me why not just dump more inside and what else do we need for the lasers let's take a quick look and see we do need the conduct conductance coil we need two of those for the laser pre-charger and we are done with one so let's see what we can do with that one single illuminator frame we can do the laser pre-charger dump this here pink slime balls uh, I'm half done with it so uh, let me just wait for these guys to get all to cook up and we are done let's go search laser laser drill and we are almost done we just need plastic sheets we should have some plastic uh, laying around inside so yes we are done officially done so let's just choose one I'm thinking of the right one so let's just go with it and stick with it to the end these guys don't stack so that's so sad so it's an epic bag and let's see what we get from from it wow that is uh decently useful because i don't really have i don't really need potions but all those stuff uh, can actually help me out so let me just dump all those stuff inside our a system and forget about stuff the laser focus might not be good let me just take the heart out of there because I like to keep my heart somewhere else uh, probably here will do okay that is great and I think we have reached the end of this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna eat my cheeseburger and uh, if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one peace